Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, Amazon this week confirmed plans again in Indiana, this time with a major new fulfillment center in Fort Wayne. Amazon says the facility will employ nearly 1,000 full-time employees. This is work begins on the nearly $300 million electric works project in Fort Wayne, riverfront development, downtown office uh, development as well. With more on economic momentum in Fort Wayne in Northeast Indiana, pleased to welcome back to the show this week, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry. Mayor, welcome back. Thank you, Gary. Well, let's talk about the Amazon deal. Uh, a big deal, nearly 1,000 jobs, certainly a competitive uh, situation with other communities vying for that. What tilted the scales to Fort Wayne in Northeast Indiana? Well, Gary, I think it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a situation where they were looking for a quality of place, a quality of life that would accommodate all of those who uh, are gonna be calling Fort Wayne home. I know a, a number of their uh, new staff members will be drawn from our Fort Wayne population, but they're gonna be bringing in some other staff members as well. And I think you know, a lot of what we had to offer in Fort Wayne, as far as, as I mentioned, quality of place, I think was very attract gonna attractive talk to them. Yep, we're gonna talk about some additions you're making up there as well. But also, I'll call it infrastructure, your access uh, to interstates. Uh, the airport there, Fort Wayne uh, International Airport, has uh, runways that can, uh, can accommodate uh, uh, the big jets as well. Correct, uh, some time ago, we made the investment uh, to build runways that would accommodate 747s uh, with a hope, a desire that we might be, uh, be able to uh, become a, a cargo hub someday. And that's uh, essentially what, what's happening with Amazon. The newest plant, the newest fulfillment center that they built here in Fort Wayne is actually their third uh, center in Fort Wayne. We have two out by the airport. This newest one obviously will be the largest, but uh, I think uh, that Amazon realized that our location in Northeast Indiana, our location in the Midwest, would really help them meet their distribution needs. Yeah, I know it's going to be the first uh, robotic-led uh, uh, facility for Amazon as well. But let's talk about a lot of things going on in Fort Wayne. Uh, in addition to Amazon, a huge win this week. But you've got uh, Riverfront uh, development. You've got uh, the Electric Works project, nearly $300 million project uh, going on as well. Downtown development, construction, uh, things going on even in the midst of the pandemic. What do you attribute that, that continued momentum and the ability to get projects done what do you attribute that to? Well, I think one of the real keys to our success or our momentum in Fort Wayne has been a, a long range plan that involved a lot of the items that you just talked about. Now, Amazon, uh, we weren't, uh, we, we didn't plan for that one. That one came up and we obviously positioned ourselves to, uh, to compete. Unfortunately, we were successful. But some of the other developments, Riverfront, uh, we've been working on that for several years. We have phase one finished, and now we're beginning phase two. Uh, Electric Works, we've been working on that for three or four years. Uh, uh, the new uh, uh, downtown headquarters for Star Financial Bank, we've been working on that for a while. So a lot of these were part of our strategic plan for downtown development. So. We had already positioned ourselves financially and otherwise to keep these things moving. Now, the, unfortunately, the pandemic slowed down the process, but didn't kill the project. It just, uh, it, again, it just slowed it down. So we're now just beginning to pick up our, our, our pace again. Yeah, a lot of corporate support there. Ash Brokerage, Ruoff Mortgage, uh, Sweetwater uh, right. as, as well. Do it best. Uh, you know, the corporate community has really come in and partner. I know on these, we're showing video of the um, Electric Works project there. So much, so many ups and downs in any project like this. This right. is going to happen. It's quite a coup for Electric Works uh, to happen. Three years from now, what do you envision there? Well, hopefully, if all goes well, and we have no reason to believe that it won't, it will be the new corporate headquarters for Do It Best. We're also building a, a food court in there to consist of not only some standard retail offerings, but also 
a farmer's market uh, operation as well. So they'll kind of all be combined in the same area. Uh, we've uh, Parkview Health, one of our major healthcare systems wants to put part of their operation in there as far as a, a neighborhood clinic. Uh, you mentioned Sweetwater, but they're gonna have a part of that plant as well. So we have a number of organizations and other companies that have decided to at least offer part of their uh, product offerings or service offerings in that campus. Uh, as you mentioned, it's about a $300 million uh, investment, and that's just half of the former GE campus. Yep. Uh, we still have the other half to contend with down the road, yep. but our goal right now is over the next, oh, let's say three to five years yep. to fill that first phase up and really make it a, a a good entity yep. to not only work in and, and play in, but also it'll help us eventually with our with our tax base, that's for sure. Yep, the face of Fort Wayne changing dramatically, the impact on Northeast Indiana and really even beyond that substantial. Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry, thank you for joining us as always. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Gary. All right.